Hey guys, welcome back for another video, yeah, and I want to talk about something about Dragonite. Um, with the recent update of Gen 2, the, um, the moveset has been changed quite a bit. Dragon Knight no longer can do Dragon Breath. Dragon Breath is a legacy move now. So if you have any Dragon Knight with Dragon Breath, keep it. It's good. Same thing with Dragon Claw. If they don't really. I don't think Dragon Knight can no longer learn Dragon Claw either. Um, so the best move for Dragon Knight now is uh, let me see. Is let me look it up real quick and I'll let you know. It's something. It's Outrage, I believe. That's the uh, best move set. Give me a second, guys. Let me look that up real quick, and I'll let you. Yeah, Dragon Knight, Steel Wing, and Outrage are the two best move set right now. Steel Wing is the uh, uh, the regular attack, of course, and then your power attack is Outrage. Um, <clears throat> they're not the best compared to the uh, Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw that we have. Uh, so you have. And I only have this. This is my only one with Dragon Breath and Dragon Claw. So, and Dragon Claw now you can do a lot more. You can do three attacks instead of two. So, yeah, it's it's a beast. So definitely you have this one. Hold on to it. Let's see. I might have another dragon. Yeah, and Ender Dragon Knight. Wait, why is this one in the gym? Okay, whatever. I didn't mean to put him in the gym. I usually use all my Dragon Knights to attack and take down gyms. Um, Dragon Breath and Hyper Beam. I have two of these. Yeah, two of them. Both same CP, I think. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, I don't think they can do dra Hyper Beam either. So, um, yeah, you have Hi Dragon Breath and Hyper Beam. Also keep them. It's a, the second best moveset to uh, behind Dragon uh, Breath and Dragon Claw. So any new Dragon Knight, any new Dratini that you guys going to be evolving now is going to get Steel Wing and Outrage for the best moveset. I believe I'd have a Dragon Knight here with Steel Wing and Dragon Claw. But that's it's okay. It's not the best, but hey, you know what? That's still one of the old, uh, the legacy moves that, that we um, can no longer get, and Dragon Claw is pretty damn good. And I do notice, though, when you use Dragon Breath, it's not as fast as it used to be. I'm not sure whether it's just the animation or not, but I notice when I use it in the gym now battle, it's a little bit slower than it used to be. It's, it used to be a lot quicker when you tap on the... Uh, <clears throat> the screen, sorry. So, but yeah. So, there there are, I believe, other changes as well. I think Gengar now has the best um, attack. Um, uh, it's, a, it's for Gen 1. Well, actually, currently, I think it's the, uh, the best attacker. I'm not sure whether that spe uh, specifically involves... Gen 1 and Gen 2 comparison, or just Gen 1 in, in, in general. <coughs> now, um, Twister, which is a skill uh, from, uh, what's that guy's name? Um, uh, Gyarados, that I freaking hate so much. Now, it's actually got a little bit buff. So, Twister is actually, uh, if you have drag, uh, Gyarados with high CP that has Twister as uh, um, the, the main power attack, um, keep it. It's a good for defense. It, it's not good for offense, but is definitely better for defense because Twister it it comes more often and it's harder to dodge Twister versus like Hyper Beam or uh, Hydro Pump. Of course, the best Gyarados still is uh, for attacker is still Bite and Hydro Pump. But yeah, other than that, there are a few uh, minor changes here and there with the uh, the move sets and stuff. RK9, I think you can uh, no longer get RK9 with. Um, Fight, bite, and fire blast, and uh, uh, fire fang, fire blast. I don't think you can no longer uh, get the, this type of move sets anymore. So RK9 does also changes as well. So you have those any uh, good RK9 that have these type of move set, you definitely should keep it. Unfortunately, this one is a perfect IV, but it's only at 640 CP, so it's uh, not gonna be really useful unless I power it up. But it's probably gonna cost me a hell of a lot of stardust to get it up up there. And right now I can't afford to spend Stardust yet. I want to make sure everything settles, the dust settles a little bit, you know, no pun intended. But um, before we uh, start, you know, using our Stardust to power up Pokemon, I want to make sure all the Pokemon are established uh, for Gen 2 and everything's clear about them before we jump in and burn the Stardust. It's tough to earn Stardust in this game. So, yeah, 
that's just a couple things I want to mention other than that. You guys uh, have a good day. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.